So I got a comment the other day. Somebody said my beard makes me look like Papa Smurf. What do you guys think? You know, I got the gray kind of going on, the more Santa Claus look. Christmas is coming. Anyway, I love watching these gear videos where people point out their favorite gear. And I was like, you know, there's nothing really spectacular that's come out in 2022 that I want to share and put on a holiday list for y'all. But I will share with you some of the gear that I really, really love. And you know, I'm a backpack reviewer. Usually I review backpacks, so I gotta show you up front and first my favorite backpack, and that's the GORUG GR1 right here. This is the shooter edition, but don't get hang up on that. I love all of them. The GORUG shooter, the regular GORUG, straight thousand D with the pocket. I like the heritage. I've had all of them. They're all great. And what makes them great, right? This one, the thousand D, I've kind of went back and forth. Do I like the 500 D or do I like the thousand D Cordura? The thousand D to me makes this bag feel like it's more substantial. Like you have something that's going to last like a really long time. So the bag is set up just like all the other reviews that I reviewed on this bag you probably get tired of me reviewing the goruck gr1 but anyway slash pocket in the front it goes all the way down to the bottom and i have a love-hate relationship with it three rows of molly a great grab handle every interaction with this bag far as carrying it is excellent the grab handle is very well stitched everything is well stitched the shoulder straps this bag is built for rucking george doesn't ruck but it's great for me because when I put heavier items in this bag, it carries the load really well. The width of the shoulder straps and the padding. This one's kind of gotten starting a little memory of my shoulder right here because I've been carrying it for a couple of months. But still, very firm shoulder straps. The webbing on is great. Inside this pack right here, you got number 10 YKK silent zippers. Inside, don't get, like I said, don't get hung up on the different, you know, styles. Like this bag, the shooter edition is, is discontinued. And I did a whole review. I'll link it up in the corner of the screen. I've kind of, you know, shifted. This bag has morphed a little bit from what I did in the review. I went with the two side pockets from Goruck up up on the top. These work great, so when I just unzip the bag at the top, I can get to my wallet in one, and then like any little other stuff, I hook my keys in here. Got my little organization, but this, this, this my favorite gear would not be complete if I didn't include the GORUCK GR1. So my knife of choice is the Benchmade Bug Out, and it's been that way probably for the last year, year and a half. This is the carbon fiber version of the Bug Out kind of upgraded a little bit. So with the carbon fiber, you get an upgraded blade on this knife. It's actually CPM S90V. I actually got this bug out on the secondary market because this knife is so expensive that you're looking at a $300 knife right here. And even the regular uh, bug out has gone up over some time. Now, why get the extra monies, pay the extra money for the top of the line. Well, this is not even really the top of the line. They have make some better ones out there. But why go into this one? It's got to be the scales. So on the other one, they had grivery or grievery scales. I didn't like those. So the carbon fiber gives this knife a lot firmer of a grab. And you can see that they're actually contoured. Let me kind of try to angle it so you can see. They're actually contoured. So the grip in your hand feels a lot better with those contoured scales. Kind of smooth, but I like it a lot. Why go with Benchmade? Well, I got this knife, like I said, on the secondary market because it was so expensive. So somebody had used it, but I sent it back to Benchmade, right? They sharpened the knife, oiled the knife, and cleaned it out, right? For free. I, I shipped it. I didn't have to spend any extra money, and they took care of me. They serviced the knife, and I can send it back anytime I want. I know there's some guys out there like, I service my own knives. I don't need to do that. Hey, bro, I, if I can send it back to the company and have them put a wicked sharp edge on this knife and clean it out for me for $5 of shipping, I'm going to do that <laughs> every day of the week. As far as flashlights go, there's a lot of options out there. But the one that stuck with me, and I do have O-lights, I do have Surefires, I do have blah, 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 blah. But this Lumatop EDC tool, far as high value for me, 
is excellent. It's got five separate modes in it. It's got a rechargeable battery and it's got 650 lumens. What else do I need? Like, what am I, what, what am I really doing out here for EDC? Let me open it up and show you the battery in the inside so you can see that the battery that it comes with comes with the regular micro USB charging. So I can plug that up anytime I, you know, anytime the battery gets low, I plug it up and it's great. This, it even has an LED on the tail switch. Man, for 20 bucks, high value. So when it comes to watches, I'm a Casio freak. I love Casio watches. They do such great work. I was a lot of times on the altimeter barometer and compass watches, but I found this one and I've just kind of shown this one in some other EDC videos. This is the Casio 1500. WH. This guy has a 10 year battery in it. Guys, this watch is like $20. That's why I have two of them. You know what I'm saying? The numbers on here, this the, the tan one I wear a lot outside and working, you can see the dirt. Yeah. And I don't care. I go outside working the dirt all day and it's got great, it's got a great display. The numbers are super clear. I didn't go for the negative display. They have one of those. But the for me, I want to see what time it is. I don't, you know, negative displays is like are you trying to be cool i'm not trying to be cool i'm trying to see what time it is all right so simple display you see that it's got the the day the date the time it's got it's got some different modes you know like it's got dual time zone and five alarms but the best thing about this watch is the price and the fact that you don't have to change the battery out for 10 damn years so yeah that's i picked this watch up Sometimes even when I'm going to work, it's all plastic, yes, but damn it, I need to see what time it is. That's what, <laughs> that's what it is. So organizers are important. And you know, and I and I showed you guys GR1, but inside of that front pocket, this has been my resolution to that front pocket, is the Evergoods Cap 1. And this is, I think it came out this year, 2022, but it, it might have not, it might have came out in 21, I don't know. So it's, it's a great, great organizer the cap 2 was a great organizer i like this one to fit inside that front pocket in the gr1 specifically so on the outside you have a 420d high tenacity nylon 66 they get real specific with <laughs> the materials over at evergoods but you know you got this grab handle on the back you got a place where you can hook in like a carabiner i don't know why you would want to do that maybe on the outside of the bag what makes this thing really cool is it's got these magnets like they went all in on these magnets right it's got basically an adjustable system here so you can you know undo it and if you got like a bigger item in there the magnets will attract in a different place pretty sick I got some you know some Ranger eye patches up right there they do a weird two by two Evergoods come on let's go <laughs> come on so they do a real two uh, like a weird two by two on there it's got two sides to it right so I put in here like the things I like to grab quickly in the front of my bag see how see how it's set up it's got two pockets on this side but it's actually got more than two pockets to be totally honest right it's got one pocket here a little small pocket I have a lighter in and then over here is like the stuff that like the hygiene stuff I grab a lot aspirin for the questions that come from everyone at the job, right? So in there you got, it's got a, actually it's got a divider, see? Like that's a front pocket with the hand cream and everything. And then every, in the back you have a space where I just have a sport because I get hungry and I need something to eat. <laughs> I have my utensils. In the middle, it's got a little pen slot, just have a little pen in there. And then on the other side is all my tech stuff that I kind of keep in there. Like this is the chaffron cord. I keep that with me. And then I also have, this is an anchor charging block that does a great job of charging stuff. But this one also has a divider in it, you know, so check it out. So very simple little organizer. I like it a lot. Moving on. Inside of that pouch, I did take something out. Well, I took actually two things out. This is the Nightcore NU10000. This came out this year. This is freaking excellent. I've been waiting for years for these battery banks, these power banks to get smaller. This one is excellent. So in the front, this is the this is the interface, right? USB-A over here. So that's your output. Over here, your input to charge is USB-C. Very simple. It's got one 
a little light right there. That is actually your light that turns, it tells you it's on and also tells you the battery level. As the battery level gets down, the LED in this will kind of move a little lower and lower and lower. Check out this, the, what's great about this thing. Check out the size of this thing, guys. Look how thin that is. Look how thin this is. It's a crazy thing. It's smaller than a cell phone. It's carbon fiber. It's super light. Uh, it weighs, damn, what does this weigh? This weighs 5.29 ounces. It's five by two and a half. This thing is so great. I still, you know, I use electronics and stuff, but I still like to write stuff down on paper and pen. These are two great options that I've always kind of stuck with. And you know, you've probably seen them in a lot of my videos. Field books are on Amazon. They sell their regular three by five, you know, notebooks. They're Field Notes is the like the name brand, but Field Books, they give you five of them for like 10 bucks. Now, Field Notes, they, I know, I understand, it's a little bit nicer paper, but you could buy, you have three of those is like 15 bucks. So yeah, I opt for the cheaper ones right here. So I, and I have them everywhere in every bag because I, when I buy, you know, a pack, five come with it. The other book that I, that I really like is this one that comes from Walmart. This is the Exceeds notebook, and you can get the moleskin ones, which is a great option, but for as much time and much notes as I take, yeah, this one is perfect for me, and it's like five bucks in, in your local Walmart. This one's the dot version. I actually have a lot of them, you know, like I have a dot version, I have a lined, a, a, a ruled version, so, you know, I just grab, I grab different ones for different kind of notes. It gives me a lot of different options for like video ideas and stuff like that. Pouches for your, for your packs. Like this is, this is a, this is like a common thing for folks that like backpacks is like getting pouches and all of that kind of stuff. My favorite pouches are the Recycle Firefighter Trucky. Both of these right here are Re Recycle Firefighter Trucky pouches. He don't do them that often. You know, like I purchased this one, I think it was like a special kind of thing. It was the Desert Knight Camo. He, the reason why they're so great are they're a thousand E Cordura and he actually puts a number 10 YKK zip on them. The, the, the Recycle Firefighter does some of the best stitching. Shout out to Jake. He does really great stitching. So this one's been with me for a long, long time. I just switched out the, the, the pulls on here with some different paracord just to, you know, fancy it up a little bit. But they don't sell them, so it's, or they're hard to find. So what's the alternative? My other favorite pouches are the Topo Design Accessory Pouches. They come in three separate sizes. This is the largest one right here. But what makes these great is the 1000D Cordura at the top. It has a, a, a nylon down here at the bottom. I like the different colors that they offer. Smaller zipper than the actual Re Recycle Firefighter Truckee. This is a number 10. This might be like a number five, but still an awesome pouch. And it's got the finger pulls on the side. I love the high-vis lining inside. And they do the high-vis lining in most of their accessory pouches. These are great. They hold up well. The, the 1000D Cordura, you know, extends all the way to the back of the pouch. They do an excellent job. So, and these are really affordable. I think you could pick these up for like 15 bucks a piece. So you don't need this one. I usually use this large one for like a, like a toiletry type of thing when I'm going out of town, but that's, that's that. Those are my favorite pouches right there. Now, when it comes to cables, this has been one of my favorite cables that's come out, you know, and I do use my cables a lot for charging and different things. This is the in charge six in one charging cable. And how is it six in one? Okay, so over here, the tips. So this cord itself is like, I, I wanna say it's like four or five feet and it's really heavy material on the outside. You can see that it's really heavy material. Then the, the tip. So this is USB-A over here. This is USB-C over here. So with that, you have a lot of different options for charging, but you could pull the tips up. Now you get USB-C over here. So you could do USB-C to USB-C, or you could switch this and do USB-C to lightning or USB, you put the tip back on, USB-C to lightning, or you could do uh, USB-C, 
I'm confusing myself. Damn it. So, USB A, you could do to lightning, and you could do USB C to micro. See that the tip? That's a micro USB. This is, thing has so many different it has so many different options for you, like combinations for you to charge. It's ridiculous. I love this little thing. I had I've had two of them since they've come out. I think they came out in 2022, and they're great. Now, when it comes to music, these are the Sony XM3s. George, Sony XM5s are out, bro. Why are you showing me headphones from like three years ago? Okay, hold on, wait. All right, so the the Sony XM3s have been my steadfast editing headphones i use them to edit all of these videos since i've got them probably like for the last three years this the the, the noise counseling canceling is excellent irene's trying to talk to me i have these on i can't hear what she's saying you know the kids are running around making a lot of noise in the house i put these on i can't hear none of that it cuts all of that sound out they're great really soft cushions it right here um, the only improvement that I would upgrade for is the fact that these want to connect only to one device. And after that, you know, you really can't connect to multiple devices, which I would appreciate. But with the Sony XM5s, they made them so they're like the Apple headphones where you can't fold them. So basically, you got to carry around them just like they are right now. For me, being able to fold these like that is it really important because they fit inside a backpack really easily or even a jacket pocket if they can't do this i don't want them so really these are these are the, the technology i've went to best buy i listened to the x and fives the the sound quality uh noise canceling is like eh, this much better eh. This much better, and then you got to think about the price. So I'll stick with these until Sony can work out on the XM10s. You know, they can they make them foldable and have the great noise canceling. Then I'll upgrade. One of the things that for me is a staple is got to be like the T-shirt, right? The T-shirt is definitely. Uh, let me back this out a little bit. Let me lower down this this desk a little bit. So the T-shirt is something that's a that's a staple in my you know, everyday carry, you know, routine. So I've discovered these Carhartt. These are the Carhartt Force Tees, right? So what makes these tees so much greater than any other tee, George? Well, they have stain resistant quality. So when you drop something on your shirt or if the real purpose where you to go work outside with these, right? Is, you know, you get them all dirty, they, they, when you pop them in the washing machine, they come out really nice and clean. And on the sides of these tees, right, they have this strip, right? I'm going to show you. They have this strip. It's very, like, uh, moisture wicking. It has moisture wicking. And it's like a vented side. And you really can't tell between the regular fabric and then the vented side. But this works great in the summertime or anytime. You know, you're wearing your tee and... You know, you just feel really, I feel really comfortable in these. And I just was like, yeah, I should throw this on the list because these are some great tees. They come from a great company, Carhartt. Real guys that work know what I'm saying. You want something comfortable. You want it to stand up and be something that you can wear time after time and look good. Carhartt does it with these tees, the Carhartt Force t-shirts. I have them in short sleeve and I have them in long sleeve. They're great. The last thing on my list is this guy right here. This is the iPad mini. It's a great small portable electronic device. I was on the larger tablets for the longest time. But once I discovered this one, I think this one came out in 2018 or something like that. But this is like the iPad mini six, all right? It's great for gaming. You got your mobile gaming on here. I stay watching Netflix. I put this, I, I can put it in my bag. And then when I get to my destination, if I'm in a coffee shop, wherever I am, I'm at home, I'm watching, I got, you know, Seinfeld playing next to me. I'm watching TV or whatever. And it's just a portable size. The portability of this thing is the great thing. Is it the most powerful 
tablet? No, it's not. You know, when you want to start exporting large video and stuff like that, this is not the tablet for you. But what it does do well is conference calls. It does conference calls really well. It has the technology where the camera actually follows you. This thing is great. I have it set up with some basic apps. Excellent. I have to carry it everywhere with me because damn it, this is just a great product, man. You know, if you want to carry something, carry this. And it also has the Apple Pay. Yeah. So great little products. But yeah, guys, these those are my favorite gear. You know, that's my favorite, favorite gear. I wanted to share with you guys because I think that you know this christmas this holiday season don't go out there and spend your money on junk man go out there and spend your money on gifts or if you're gonna buy something nice for yourself that you're actually gonna like sometimes you don't have to break the bank like these watches or maybe you want to spend something a little bit more get you a nice benchmade bug out carbon fibers 300 bucks but whatever guys guys if you like this video man hit the thumbs up button if you loved it subscribe to the channel why because it's totally damn free guys <laughs> if you got a question about everyday carry specifically backpacks but everyday carry we do all kinds of stuff here um you know just holler at me you know leave me a comment down there and i'll try to get back to you and i'll see you guys in the next one peace